and welcome back to Blessed Savior News. I'm Jamie Green and I am having a lot of fun with these interviews, if you can't tell. It's been really interesting because see, I love Christmas, obviously, in my outfit here. But I always thought Christmas was all about the presents and the shopping. But it seems like there's something else. Every person that I've interviewed so far keeps bringing up the name Jesus. First, we interviewed Mary, who's the mother of Jesus. Then we interviewed Joseph, who's the father, the earthly father of Jesus. Then we talked to a shepherd who was so excited to go and spread the news that Jesus was born. There just seems to be already a pattern coming in the people that I've interviewed with. So I'm excited to see who we get to talk to today and learn more about the real meaning of Christmas. I think I see my person coming now. Oh my goodness. Wow. And who are you? I am one of the angels that got to tell the shepherds that Jesus was born. Oh, interesting. What do you mean one of the sh angels? Well, Jamie, Jesus was born. God's not going to send just one angel to tell that news. There were thousands of us in the sky. Oh, thousands. interesting. Because, you know, the shepherd that we just talked to the other day, he mentioned that he was... He saw the angels, and he was terrified by them. Can you tell me more about that? Yes, Jamie. Actually, if you want to read about my story, look at Luke chapter 2, starting with verse 9. You know, you're the fourth person that's handed me this book when it's time to tell the story. It's a very important book, Jamie. Well, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels left them and gone to them, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Oh, so you were part of the whole group of people that got to tell the shepherds that Jesus was born. Yes, there were so many of us. And guess what? God sent us, because we're his special messengers, to tell the shepherds the greatest news ever that the Savior was born, and we told him where to find him. Interesting. So now this is the fourth person that is telling me the whole point of their person in the story of Christmas is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Their whole message is Jesus. Very much so. Well, thank you, Angel, for stopping by and visiting with me. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too, but I have some more messages to go deliver, so I'll catch you guys later. I don't want to keep you any longer, then. Wow, so there is a real pattern that's forming here, because first we had Mary, mother of Jesus, Joseph, the father of Jesus, the shepherds who went running to tell everybody that Jesus was born, and now an angel whose job it was to come and tell the shepherds that Jesus was born. Hmm. We're going to get to the bottom of this before we're done. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you on next Tuesday as we meet yet one more person in the story of Christmas. Have a great day.